that's gonna be crazy. So make sure y'all check that out. Twilight Zone, babies. Ah, it's time for another puzzle. So what I do is I like to show y'all a puzzle, and then I like to see who in the chat is the fastest at getting the, the right answer. You feel me? So, here we go. Try to figure it out as fast as you can. Type it in the chat as quick as you can. Get those fingers ready. Here we go. How many sides does a circle have? Hmm? How many sides does a circle have? Easy squeezy, lemon peasy, y'all. Let's figure it out. Ah, the answer is two. Nothing fun. Nobody, nobody did it. We thought, I thought that would be a little fun thing to share with y'all, but evidently, it wasn't. Who's excited? Oh, Leafy Rebecca. Leafy Rebecca got it. That's what's up, girl. I'm proud of you. Leafy Rebecca. What that mean? You like salads? Hmm? Or you got a green thumb? That's cool. I like leaves. Question number one. What is James Bond's traditional drink of choice? Martini, Fanta, or celery juice? <laughs> What's it gonna be? Who doesn't love a Fanta? Huh? James Bond. That's who. Give that man his martini and stop trying to play little pranks on him, okay? He'll make you pay. He might stab you with some kind of laser pen. Pin and a laser at the same time. 300,489 got it. Oh, yeah. Martini, babies. With the little olives. Swirl it around. Shake it. Don't stir it. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, don't get knocked out of the game tonight, okay? Get an extra life. Stay in the game. Y'all know how, how those work. Pick them up. You can get them now. You play five days in a row. Or you do, uh, you just buy them. Doesn't matter to me. I'm pretty chill. Here we go. Question number two. Which cartoon character is a canine? Woody Woodpecker, Huckleberry Hound, or Yogi Bear? Who's it going to be? One of these is a canine. All right. Lock in those answers, babies. If you don't know Huckleberry Hound, are you ready to trust me that his name isn't some kind of trick? Hmm? He's a hound. He's a dog. Take a look. Your good friend Huckleberry Hound wouldn't try to treat you. And neither would I. Unless I wanted to, which I might. 304,616 still in the game. I feel really bad for 2,000 of you that thought Woody Woodpecker was a dog. <laughs> Time for question three. Which of the following is a piece of technology specific to the Star Trek universe? Tricorder, lightsaber, or vulcanized gasket? What's it gonna be? All right, even here on regular Earth, it's not hard to find vulcanized things, all right? It's a process for strengthening rubber. But if you want a tricorder, then you better try to get into Starfleet and or just watch Star Trek. Yeah. What's the best Star Trek series? Y'all let me know in the chat what y'all messing with when it comes to Star Trek. 185,663 in the place to be. Oh, yeah. It's time for question four. Knocking on your door. Here we go. Which Australian artist's name includes an aboriginal word for boomerang? Iggy Azalea, Sia, or Kylie Minogue? I have no idea. I'm going to see. Oh, hey. Who's it going to be? All right. In the Western Australian Aboriginal language, Noongar, the word Kaili or Koili means curved returning stick or boomerang, but I bet you already knew that. Yeah, boomerang minoog. It's got a nice ring to it. It couldn't have been Iggy Azalea because boomerangs come back. <laughs> 128,000. 
211. Got it right. That was a little shaded. Iggy, Iggy, I'm sorry. I love you. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Ah, yeah, ah. Woo! Question five. Do it for the children. Here we go. What part of Earth is at the center of the flag of the United Nations? International Dateline, North Pole, or Prime Meridian? Anybody? What's it gonna be? All right, it's the United Nations. So if you're gonna show any Earth on the flag, you gotta be fair and show it all. Yep, and there's a lot of ways to put a sphere on a uh, flat surface. But this designer decided to squash it from above. Take a look. Yep, see this, right? The North Pole is in the center because he's questioned from above. 102,000. That's a savage question, babies. Woo! Here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. United Nations. Got the North Pole in the middle. United Nations. <laughs> what? Oh, man. 102,101. Still having fun. And you're still the one. Oh. Question number six, babies. This is the cover art to an album by whom? Take a look. Yeah. All right, that's the cover art. Now, who's the album by? The Who, The Rolling Stones, or The Velvet Underground? Velvet. Mmm. What's it gonna be? There were some clues on there. All right. Provocative enough for The Stones. Gimmicky enough for the who, but the big clue is Andy Warhol's signature, okay? Because he was the key guy be behind the curtain for the uh, 1967 album, The oh. Velvet Underground and Nico. Velvet Underground, okay, I'm proud of y'all. A lot of y'all got that one right. 163,358. Uh, feeling great. On the way to question number seven. That didn't rhyme. I tried to make it work, and as it was leaving my face, I said, this is dumb. Here we go! Question seven. Which award is not named after a piece of equipment? Emmy, Grammy, or Oscar? I have no idea. Mmm. All right. Are you setting up an award, huh? Well, you gotta have a punchy two-syllable name. Yep. People would get sick of saying gramophone award. So it's just Grammy. And it'd be worse if the Emmy was called the image. Oscar's just named for some Oscar. Yeah. 138,415. I'm moving on, babies. So proud. We are doing this closer and closer to the $5,000 prize. Come on and ride out with me. Which country airs a local version of Sesame Street that stars Zobi the Yam Monster? Is it Egypt, Nigeria, or Mongolia? Zobi the Yam Monster. Shout out to the billions of people around the world who watch Sesame Street. And to my personal friend, Cookie Monster. Teach me how to cook it. Teach me, teach me how to cook it. Yes. What if I told you that the only one of these countries that features a yam as a major uh, local crop? That would be Nigeria. Yum, 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 yum. I love yum. It, it tastes delicious. Zobie, babies. The yam monster. Oh, yeah. Nigeria was the answer I was looking for. 94,685 are still in the game. We are on the way to question number nine. Yeah, Hope you're feeling that. fine, because I am. Here we go. Question nine. What cereal is advertised in this clip? Take a look. What's this stuff? Some cereal. It's supposed to be good for you. Did you try it? it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Life. Life. Hmm. Some picky kids. Is it life? Wheat checks or kicks? Life. What's it gonna be? Life, wheat checks, or kicks? If that ad didn't look familiar, you're young enough to do the uh, the Cookie Monster. Yeah, this ran nonstop for over a decade and became one of the best known ads ever. But the kids never actually say life cereal. Sneaky little kids. Life cereal, baby. Mikey, I think he likes it. 79,395 like that. You got life. Yeah. I remember that movie with Martin Lawrence and, and Eddie Murphy. Uh, I think Casey and Jojo did the soundtrack. How did I get life, 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 
Life, life. Anyway, question number 10. Here we go again, my friends. Time to get it in. What landmark was damaged in the 1916 military attack known as the Black Tom Explosion? Tower of London, Arc de Triomphe, or Statue of Liberty? Mm. During World War I, very unfriendly Germans destroyed a huge Allied munitions depot in a blast that was felt 80 miles away. And they damaged the skirt and torch of Lady Liberty. You know what's crazy? America, we wasn't even in the war yet. Leave Liberty alone. Statue of Liberty, babies. 27,000. I was close. I would have used Mike Strong, but they... 27,914 are still in the game. A lot of extra lives. Over 10,000. So many extra lives getting used right now. See? You happy you listen to me? That's all I'm saying. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. In which layer of Earth's atmosphere do we typically breathe? Stratosphere, troposphere, or thermosphere? One of these three is the answer, as always. Oh, I thought it was easy. All right. This would be easier if one of the choices was the bottom one. But you're smart. Stratosphere is a metaphor for way up there. So it can't be that low, can it? But it's actually the second lowest layer right above our troposphere. That's where we'd be breathing at, y'all. 31,698 are taking a breath of that winning air. Mm. Tastes like victory. I'm an air sommelier. Mm. Subtle notes of Matt's deodorant. Fresh. Question 12. What's that smell? Not me. I'm fresh. Here we go. What Microsoft published game series was originally an Apple project approved by Steve Jobs, Flight Simulator, Halo, or Age of Empires. Mm, what's it gonna be? All right, he not only approved it, Steve teased the game at 1999's Macworld Expo, but things can move quickly in the tech biz, and today people think Microsoft when they think of Master Chief and the rest of the gang in Halo! Halo, how you doing? 28,900. Just got it all. Read all about it. Halo, babies. Yeah. All right. It's time for question number 13, Jelly Beans. Y'all know what I mean. Here we go. Which continent contains the most OPEC member countries? Asia, Africa, or South America? The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. All right. Here we go. Venezuela and Ecuador in South America. That's two, right? Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates are in Asia. So that's five. But Algeria, Angola, Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Nigeria are all in Africa. That's seven for the win. Yeah. 17,665. Knew that, yeah, Africa was the answer, babies. Question number 14, here we go. A street bordering the Mall of America is named for what baseball player? Tom Seaver, Raleigh Fingers, or Harmon Killebrew? Okay. The Mall of America, out in Minnesota. Oh, man, it's in Minnesota. Did y'all memorize every street in the country yet? Because I keep telling y'all to do that. Every street. Just kidding. Yeah, you just need to know that the mall is on the former site of uh, Metropolitan Stadium. Yes, or that it's near Minneapolis. And the only choice who played for Minneapolis was Hammerin' Harmon Killebrew. His nickname was the Fat Kid. <laughs> That's so mean. Nicknames used to be so mean back in the day. Mine was Sheep. I got called Sheep for years. Sheep Boy. Yeah, I was talking to this girl. I think I was in the sixth grade. She was like in the seventh grade. I said hi, and she said hi back. And I was like, huh? Nah. She's like, what are you, a sheep? Question 15. You know what I mean. Question 15. Time to get that money that's green. Question 15. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Bah. Question 15, y'all. Here we go. In 2017, 
What did Volkswagen sell more of than cars? Umbrellas, sausages, or phone screens? What's it gonna be? For what? All right. You Americans don't know much about this because it's a product that's never been imported here. But for every Volkswagen that's rolled out of their factories, they've also moved more than one currywurst. Their own flavorful local recipe for sausage. That'll cut you off a piece. Oh boy, oh boy. We got 7,673 winners of HQ Trivia, babies. And all that to celebrate. Look at them stars. Huge winner. Big star. Even bigger star. Nope, same size. All right, congratulations. Charlene Plant. Pure Ren. Johnny with the Bob Ross. I see you. Epsison. Matt Sheep Richards. Yeah, baby. Ba baby. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, I was sheep for like from seventh grade all through high school. That was pretty, um, it's pretty lame that it's stuck, but it's cool. Congratulations, H Quizzes. Welcome to the leaderboard. I have been your host, Sheep Richards. Yeah, follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. HQ continues with words at 9.30. So don't go too far, all right? I love you so much. Be good to each other. For sure. That's right. This is not P.